G'day guys, I sat down with Anthony Milner from Elcom and we talked all about CMSs. Check it out. G'day guys, I'm here today with Anthony Milner from Elcom CMS. How are you, Anthony? Good, Adam. So I want to ask you uh, about choosing a CMS. There's a lot of products out there, although they seem to have converged into just, um, just a few to choose from now, but they have a lot of features. So as you know, a typical IT manager working at a company trying to choose the best CMS, how do I choose the best CMS? Well, that's a great question. There are a lot of CMSs out there, but I think it's really important to know what your requirements are today and into the future, and to really understand where you are on what we refer to as the CMS maturity model. Um, you know, you might just be crawling, walking, or running in terms of where you are in that uh, in that maturity model. What's crawling? Crawling might be doing simple publishing for the corporate website. Uh, you've got a small team, and they're able to publish content. When you're getting a bit more advanced and you're progressing to the walk stage, you might be doing, have a, a good governance model that overlays that process. You might augment that with workflow, uh, multilingual sites, um, and also multiple sites. So you, you're not just managing one site, it's getting a lot more complex. And what's running? Well, running is kind of the cutting edge. Running is where you, you're starting to uh, really look at the uh, analytics engine in your, your, your product and start to be able to make some real-time decisions and serve content based on um, you know, uh, user profiles or based on browsing behaviors. Really what we call broadly the real-time personalization or marketing automation side of a public website. I want to uh, understand where does Elcom sit in you know, with the competition? There's, the way I see it is you've got uh, the cheapos, you know, which are free. Then you've got the, and there are things like uh, .NET Nuke and Umbraco. And then you've got the things that cost a little bit of money, I'd call the mid-market, um, such as Sifini from Telerik and, and Kentico. So a couple of grand, you'll be up and running. And then you've got the really expensive ones, um, EpiServer, Sitecore, and I'm gonna guess you'll put SharePoint in that, in that area as well. Where does Elcom sit in that? Well, I think we're in the upper end of the mid-market. So we certainly move into the enterprise space and compete with Sitecore, um, but we definitely um, you know, higher up the chain than the mid-market players that you just mentioned. Okay. So now I want to ask you, uh, I'm curious to know, if I'm trying to decide on a CMS, is there much difference if I care more about intranet or care more about the, you know, the public side of things? Uh, is it kind of the way I think of things in that, it's essentially the same, but just a checkbox if you have uh, whether I want this thing public or not. Yeah, well, I think we think there is. Mm. Um, we think you know the the, the uh, planning that you take to a website and the planning and, and thinking that you take to an intranet are kind of worlds apart, and we think they are worlds apart in really? terms of yeah, in terms of the the functionality uh, that they provide. Uh, you know, Can you give me examples. Well, yeah, I mean, an, an intranet um, has a very strong focus on the, the social aspect within an organization, kind of enhancing the culture, um, allowing individuals to share documentation, to collaborate over projects. And that's really a kind of a different kettle of fish to the way that you would serve up web facing content. Okay, let me ask you about integration. I see integration as really important. And I, you know, I'm thinking of a series of different products in my head, such as Mailchimp and Campaign Monitor and Constant Contact, and there's plenty more. Uh, how much integration? How many modules do you have? Yeah, we actually have very much an integration strategy, um, where there are products which are best of breed that used to be part of the Web CMS core framework, but it's been really important over the last few years to to get very focused on our core speciality, our core domain. So areas such as email marketing, we are integrating out to best of breed. Okay. We've done an integration with Campaign Monitor. We've also done integrations with systems like Objective Document Management, 
HP Trims document management. That's that's what about kind of SharePoint a big part. document management. Of course, SharePoint. Okay. Right. Absolutely, SharePoint. Um, you know, we've we've got an integration not only between SharePoint document lists but actual pages. So you can publish a page in SharePoint and synchronize that across to the web CMS. All right, so we're going to have SharePoint running and Elcom CMS running. Yes. And they, you're kind of syncing the pages. Yeah, the use case there is where you have an intranet that has a lot of content and you want some of that shared onto the public website. We have right. an integration point which allows you to map certain areas of SharePoint into the public website. Okay. and keeps those two areas in sync. So to finish off, I want to know what is in the future for Elcom? What's your roadmap look like? Well, a key strategy of ours is to reach out to best of breed products and make the integration to certain products easy and seamless. What categories? Well, if you've got a great CRM product internally or even uh, you know, a line of business financial application and you want to surface information, um, if you have you know, on the, on the web facing side marketing automation suites that you want to integrate to or e-commerce engines. We want to be the .NET product that has all of those plugins nailed. Right. So you can put in a great CMS and use best of breed third party products to augment that experience and deliver you know, a whole solution to the end user. Um, what about on the UI side? Uh, how well do you support iPads and things like that? Well, uh, we, we have support for, for iPads, but what we're really aiming towards is responsive UI. You know that all of our designs now um, for public facing websites and even intranets start with responsive design thinking from, uh, from the get-go and we're very excited to actually be moving the entire UI of our product to responsive UI which will adapt to iPads and iPhones seamlessly. Well Anthony that's been really fascinating to learn all this and thank you very much for your time. Thank Cheers. you Adam. So thanks guys this is Adam Kogan signing off.